Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Land Place, Slate Aspire, new character, The Watcher. But who watches The Watcher? Uh, you, hopefully. I don't know, none of the episodes have gotten up yet. Um... Tough decision. I really don't want to go down to 59 HP. I think I need as much rope as possible, you know? Just, just give me choose a card. Whenever you switch stances, draw a card. If your HP is less than it was last turn, enter Wrath. Seems absolutely horrible right now. I already know I like crushed joints. So I know we've been using that fairly frequently. Um, but I think it's like... I mean, I want to win. I want to see new cards, but like... Perhaps more importantly, I want to win. So we could put up three defends in a block, or we could enter Calm, take one damage, but then get more energy on a future turn when we're able to exit the stance, which I think is a little bit more up my alley. I don't want to take unnecessary damage, but basically, we drew three cards and banked two energy. Mind you, we need to find the right turn to actually be able to pop out. This is the right turn. Um... With only one vulnerability, I'm just going to hit you with nine with crushed joints. I mean, nine for one with no upside, it's not that bad. Ten damage. Basically, as long as we draw two defense per turn, you're probably screwed. And then when we pivot into Wrath, we should be okay. Not that we're going to need to. That was fine. We shouldn't have taken the damage, honestly. You want to leave, Ruka? Okay, okay. So let me tell you, I like a lot of these. I like Sands of Time the most, I think. Sands of Time... Always go for that. On Ascension Zero. Uh, Sands of Time is just a nice... Uh, it's a great way to actually deal some damage, basically. So, super want to make sure you die. I want you to know, okay? I love the Wrath stance. I really do. It will make you vulnerable, I know. At the same time, I don't want to take damage if we don't have to. Um, now, this turn, if we draw crushed joints, that would be a little bit more up my alley. But anyway, um, should have done that differently. We probably would have had lethal. We're still going to kill you before we get hit, but anyway. I like the wrath stance, but we need to find good ways to make it work. I do think that I like the idea of Windmill Strike now. Now that I actually understand that Windmill Strike um, does not work the way that I thought it worked, which was that it it only got the bonus for being retained uh, until you played it. Now that I realize it gets the bonus of being retained at all times, like for the rest of combat, I recognize now that this is actually like an extremely great card. And the longer we retain it, the better off it's going to be. Same with Sands of Time. We can't have all of our cards be, uh, you know, bonus on retain. <laughs> It'll start to get pretty terrible for us, but... Uh, you can see, if we could somehow get into Wrath for free, play Sands of Time and Windmill Strike, we could kill, I think, even most uh, champions in, like, a single turn. Legitimately. I think I like this and this. Just taking a little damage. This is not a lot of damage to take against these guys. I'm not sweating it too much. Um, Sands of Time for one. I'd rather play it next turn. And the reasoning is very simple. Um, we might not draw an attack next turn for one. But then for two, hold on, 12, 32, so we can kill you, we can't put up any block, which is very unfortunate. But the thing is, um, we all, we don't, why not have it cost zero, you know? And we weren't able to draw it on, for a second time until this turn came back around, so I'm a little embarrassed now with the amount of damage we've taken, but when you consider the fact that we have, okay, now it's even worse, but when you consider the fact that we have no crowd control, uh, or AOE, I should say, I don't think it's that bad. 
Pocket watch is kind of interesting. Flow state. Okay, I like this. If you're in wrath, enter calm. If you're in calm, enter wrath. Exhaust. Doesn't exhaust if it's upgraded. So I'm going to try something a little funky here. We kind of need the HP, but I'm going to keep flow state going. Upgrade that. I kind of want to protect. A big block is also pretty nice. Um, seven damage. I'm just thinking. Just thinking. Nine. Twelve. Won't kill you. Nine. Sixteen. Will kill you. And it's extremely unlikely that I won't be able to kill you. Yeah, so when you get it working, it's a good... You got a good thing going. I still don't get flying sleeves. It just seems really bad unless you have strength gain. Which might be the case. It's kind of like a like a worse by default twin strike. Or bowling bash. What I'm worried about is fighting single enemies. Where it's only going to do 7 damage. So I think 7 blocks, scry 3. I don't mind taking an extra block. We've taken a lot of damage cards. One utility card. Sundial. Um, see, th now we want some AoE. Like, desperately. But, Miracle. Vigilance for draw. Um, we should flow state first for energy. Then, we're in Wrath. So I'm like, you definitely want to, like, crush joints. I think we definitely still want to block. How much is this? 12 damage? Here's the thing. 7 block and an attack... It's not horrible, but I think we'd rather, you know, take 8 damage out. I don't know if we should be in the Wrath stance right now. <laughs> it's basically what I'm getting at, yeah. Definitely just wait till you get the attacks that'll, that'll one-hit KO. Drawing Sands of Time late is, is pretty bad here. I don't feel bad about this one at all. Like, I, th I think we got a real... Relatively sensible, easy line. We got some relics that work out well for us. Um, I think we definitely want to be able to exit stance a little bit more easily. Maybe I shouldn't have done it. But on the other hand, you only live once. Nine plated armor. Establishment is interesting as well. But nine plated armor by default is obviously like... It's insanely good. Let's get a skill. Um, so I think we want to meditate. Let's remove a strike and a defend. So this will put us into calm. Then... Empty body would give us more energy, but do we really care? Because we can't really play anything. It's a little weird. I don't think we want to exit the stance. We'll wait till next turn to exit the stance. We want to store the energy for later. Okay, so. Enter Wrath, but this will put me in a lethal state. This is five block. We'd have to weaken you. I don't think we can enter Wrath. But it would give us extra energy, but we wouldn't be able to draw off of it. Well, let's see. If we entered Flow State, so we get Wrath. This will do 24 damage plus Vulnerable. Plus 18 damage. Sorry, no. Plus 30 damage. It's 54. Plus 18. So do like 72 damage. <laughs> but 72 damage isn't really worth that much if we die. So we like this. 7 block, exit stance, gain a bunch of energy. Yes, obviously they get stronger over time as well. And we definitely want to go yeah, yeah. Then I'm like, okay, do we want to hit you for 20, which is actually 30? Do I want to hit you for 12 and 9, which is 25, and then also be able to block more? 
I think we want to do it like this. And then we should have you lethal next turn. So this was not that dangerous. It certainly looked a lot more dangerous than it actually ended up being. A little close. I still definitely like Empty Mind as well. Okay, so we super have to rest. Like, even though we know what enemy we're fighting, we don't have a diva form in our... What boss we're fighting, I should say. We don't have a demon form in our deck, so it's very, it's, it's very spicy. I do think Establishment works. And to be honest, I think Decisive Reality works pretty well here. But we're in a, a real weird state. Um... Where we actually have, like, more cards in our deck now than we did at the end of our last run, or close to it. Innate. More damage. More block. It's just a little... I mean, this does give you an upgraded version, I think, but... Um, let's, uh... I don't think this needs to be innate. I think we'd actually like upgraded safety or wisdom. We should be okay, just to be clear, because we are going to get five strength up. I'm, I'm popping everything I got right here. There you go. So we're five strength up long term. Um, we would like to draw. So we'll start here. Establishment works really well with windmill strike. It works fine with windmill strike. Let's not say really well. But basically, this is going to become a zero-cost good attack in the future. So, we want to go, I think, Deceive Reality, and then give me Safety. Then we play Safety, we play Crush Joints, you're weakened, and everything's going just fine. It would be nice to enter Calm. I think we will get rid of Windmill Strike real quick, because it's good damage. So let's enter Calm. Uh... Exit calm for the energy. Upgraded defense. And I guess we're just gonna play a strike. That's not a strike. I'm still feeling this one out. I'm not really sure where I stand. Sands of Time is getting real easy to play. You're gonna do 10 damage. It's not bad. Just hit you with one of those. Keeping you vulnerable, then playing Sands of Time and Windmill Strike, I think is our is our ideal play. Especially when it costs zero. Um, are we going to play another skill this turn? Yeah, we'll play Deceive Reality and then keep a safety in hand. Then Crush Joints gives you extra vulnerability. Then we'll hit you, and we'll hit you good. I guess we'll hit you again. I mean, this is, we're, we're making this look easy, but keep in mind, we did use all three of our potions here. So here, you almost certainly want to um, use Eruption quickly. We have the ability to exit Stance next turn. Maybe we don't, actually. But I don't think you're going to hit me hard enough to kill me this turn. Yeah, exactly. Okay, we, do, we did draw Empty Mind, so I clearly don't know what I'm talking about. Um... We didn't draw any of our, our really juicy cards, but it does not matter. Pocket Watch, Sundial, helping us out a lot. Dude, I have no idea what Alpha does. Okay, Beta, add an Omega to your draw pile. I, I'm going to try it. Hold on. Energy? Dude, we've gotten so lucky with energy, but... Oh, we gotta try Holy Water, right? Like, at the start of each combat, add three miracles into your hand. I'm assuming they're all the same miracles, but... We gotta try. It's a new relic. It's a new season. What I would really like now is more of an ability to change stance. Because, like, here's the deal. Ah, uh, we should have entered Eruption to get Wrath and then swapped out with that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're not going to play anything else here. We're just going to hold our Miracles. Windmill Strike gets better over time. We can use the Miracles whenever we want. So, let's uh, 
Definitely apply vulnerability. That's a huge part of this. A scry a little. We definitely want sands of time in our hand. We can get rid of those two. I don't think they're going to be relevant. Um, you're doing 12 damage. Do we really want to strike? Yes. Because you're vulnerable this turn. We want to get that plated armor off. We can store these for a more relevant moment. I gotta see what this is. Shuffle a beta into your drop pile. What the heck is an Omega? At the start of your turn, deal 50 damage to all enemies. Every turn? Yo, we have a huge incentive to keep our deck thin now. That's hilarious. <laughs> That's like disgustingly great. Okay, so always give me safety for now. I trust safety. Uh, and we'll just play defend again. I mean, we're really just waiting until we draw Omega. Right now. Um, add Omega to the bottom of your draw pile. Not a problem. Play our safety. I know this is going to seem like we're playing super conservatively. My perspective right now is kind of why not, you know? As long as we can get enough block per turn, uh, why not play conservatively, you know? Let's make you vulnerable. Defend. Empty body. Like, we don't lose anything here if he's not getting stronger. And he's not getting stronger. So, I think we need more stance enablers. 12 damage. So, we got to do something here. Do we have draw? No. I think let's get rid of our energy. Maybe, look, it doesn't have to be done. There's kind of, oh, we could draw Omega. We don't want to, though. Unless we can exit a stance simultaneously, but we can't. Anyway, 18 damage with vulnerability is really nice. So Omega will, will kill you in, like, a turn. Or... It's a little weird. We're not going to kill you. And you are actually going to end up hitting us after all. We learned a valuable lesson, I think. <laughs> About the... We, we don't want to stall too much. I'm going to say no to a second Sands of Time for now. Because I want, I want more Sands of Time. It works well with whatever the card is. Establishment, I think. Um, however... Are we going to put up more than five block? Five or more block? Probably. So we'll go vulnerability, draw. However, I want to keep the deck thin so that we can draw these betas as quickly as possible. Been hit. I think we should pop these two, actually. Let's, let's try going super fast this time. Maybe it'll change our, our tune. We played nine cards that turn. Good God. So definitely give me safety, and then uh, I'm just going to try to put you closer to death. We want to draw beta this time. Uh, I still think it's good, but it's weird. <laughs> I don't know, man. Like, I think it's... You could do... I think we got to slow down on beta. Because I think you go vigilance... Then, empty body to exit the stance and get more energy. Then, I don't really care if you die as long as I can hit you for 8 next turn. We really do want some block. You're doing 20 damage. It's the 14. Get rid of that. Leave crushed joints ready for the future. 14. I, I think I'll take 1 damage. And then... It's like, I don't really care about Omega being played, because it is a little slow when we only have three energy. But I think it's a really cool idea. I kind of want to try to make it pop at some point. So I, you've got to go. And then we already know that we want a safety here. Um, that's only 22, but that's enough. And we're going to get extra draw next turn. You're doing 13 damage. 13 damage means we can't really play Omega. You're starting to see a trend here. 
Unless we want to take 13, which, surprise, surprise, I, I don't. Um, can I hit you three times? I can definitely hit you twice. I don't think I can hit you three times. I think we play third eye. Um, defend. And then establishment. Windmill strike is going to become cheaper, which is going to be important. But, you know, things are getting a little strange. For sure. For sure. Um, kind of just want to bounce out of this one, to be honest. I think we've screwed it up a little. But, like, I, I will tell you, Eruption for nine Sands of Time kills you. This would only do 28 damage. I think we got... I'm willing to take a chance. Uh, excuse me? See ya. <laughs> I did the math very wrong. Apparently. Um, yeah, I don't even want to talk about it. So, I'm going to start dumping some garbage out of this deck. What the heck is this? Whenever you play 10 cards, draw a card. I don't even think that's bad. Um, like, at all. But, I want to thin this deck out real quick. It's interesting. Not good, but interesting. I think I do like Flash of Steel. Now, it thickens the deck, but does it really? Because it's a zero-cost attack with draw. I'm, I'm asking you a genuine question. Does it? So let's enter Calm. Uh, and you know what? I will get Establishment out early, and then I'll play Deceive Reality. And I'll play the safety from it. I do think we're struggling a little bit here. Getting extra energy on turn one is nice, but I feel like we're not accomplishing much um, right now with my uh, with my stances. I think we need to use Wrath more. So why don't we hit you? It's going to mean we're taking 40 damage, but we can get out with Empty Mind. We're going to get two energy as soon as we play this. So do this. You got double damage. Hit him. We'll talk. <laughs> we're frail. Okay. What are we drawing? I don't think there's a good re well, we should strike and then draw, I think. Then we've exited stance. This might be one where we choose to take a little damage to hopefully get a beta out here ASAP and then get an omega even faster. But I'm a little scared. <laughs> Unless they're not going to attack again. In which case I'm like literally completely unperturbed uh, whatsoever. So hopefully this compensates for the heal. Unless you get a strength buff. In which case, no big deal. Well. So uh, when it works, it works real nicely. But you need kind of a perfect scenario. Gain 11 block for one. You, you got my attention. So, I'm, I'm going to give you probably just another basic... Let's give you a basic defend in this case. I think we'd rather do the elite first. This is probably not the elite you want. Oh, hello, Tomo. Hey, buddy. How you doing? He's like, Ruka, you can come in. It's not, it's not a Tomo exclusive environment. It's okay. Um, it's probably best to save Sands of Time. But it's going to be a little spicy. So establishment is a big play. I, I definitely... I think Omega is kind of like our win condition. So I think we're just going to retain these. But it's it's going to be real close. If the last card played was a skill, draw a card. Alright, so let's get hot. Play this. Play Sanctity. 
It's 11 block. It's real nice. Then you can go Vigilance, draw everything. Empty Body gives you another 7 block for free. Then we can play Beta, which gives us Omega, which would be our next draw. And I would like to not take any damage. So let's do this and put safety in our hands. You're doing 24 damage. Now, do I want to play Omega? If I could do it without dying, I might consider it. I saw that we got safety for free. It does do 50 damage a turn. It's pretty good. Again, every time we play Deceive Reality, we get block, but also safety is going to become free next turn. So we might as well just play a defend instead. I don't know, man. Like, I'm... Is real galaxy brain ours? Let's just be honest. But it seems to be working? Somehow? I don't know. I mean, if we're not taking damage, you're dead, brother. That wasn't that bad. I don't like any of that. I, I don't know what this deck is right now. Just just leveling with you. Um, I'll tell you. I think we want an innate. Sure, I mean, actually getting this out as fast as possible probably makes an enormous difference. Thank you for not being combat. Okay, Matrushka, I actually think is is solid, but then the real value, oh my lord. The real value is definitely Melange, because it gives us uh, the ability to shuffle the, the Omegas closer to the top of our deck. I know you're like, what about a double Omega? We can't afford that. Like, like double Alpha, I guess I should say. We can't afford, that, it would take us, that's insane. I'm not going to take it. It's going to take us 12 energy to enable it. That's four full turns right now. We, it can't be done. I'm sorry. I wish I hadn't taken an upgraded flow state on this run. I have no doubt that it's probably like a good card, but it's not good for us right now. So I, I duplicated establishment, which is not my intention. Come on. We won. And I have to go to the shop. It'll heal us. Yo! Okay, this is, is getting a little goofy. I don't like the duplicated establishment, just to be clear. Why did I do it then? Because in my brain I thought it was upgrade and it was going to make it innate, okay? I don't really want to dilute the pool yet. I think it'll be more fun to... You know, we'll learn more. Let me put it that way. If we do it, if we do it the old-fashioned way, I'll take the artifact as well. I know we're not taking a lot of cool cards. That's because I'm nervous that I have a, a deck that might work right now, but I'm not totally sure if it works right now. Might as well make one of these innate. Get both. Both of these powers have got to get played ASAP. If we can get Alpha Omega, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, out of there ASAP. We're in a really good spot. Like, now we can draw. I was just going to say, we could draw beta. Now all we got to do is freaking play Omega. And uh, now we're doing 50 damage a turn. <laughs> so, basically, I, I now understand this run. Why not, I guess. Uh, I now understand this run. The new style for this run is live long enough to play Omega and then block like a son of a gun. So, uh, let's... Do we only have one draw? No. So, let's hit. That's not Omega. Let's exit with draw. That's Omega. But we don't have the energy for it. Oh, we might because we've exited stance now. Yes. Okay. So we definitely play this. I thought, oh, I played my safety last turn. That's right. Gain 11 block. Yeah, let's gain 11 block. So these guys are going to start to take 50 damage a turn. I don't think we can die. That's a great start. Things turned around real quick. I don't know. I guess we would like you to 
have vulnerability still exist here. Um, so, let's draw. Empty body, we don't care. Um, we, we don't need to do anything. I know that it sounds like insulting, but I mean it like sincerely. We don't need to do anything. All I'm doing, I'm, I'm hitting you to put you on like a three turn timer, and then I'm keeping my safeties around because I know they're going to be free for the rest of my life thanks to playing two establishments. So here, why don't we just draw two? Then, Crush Joints makes you vulnerable. Windmill Strike at least still hits you. Might as well temporarily go vigilant, and I honestly think just keep putting these free safeties into your turn into your hand. Like now we got 30, well, 30-ish block for free. The, you can't summon minions. So the ideal enemy, by the way, that we want to fight on the third floor, the ideal boss, we want to fight Donu Deka for sure, and get this Omega out of there as quickly as is humanly possible. Um, you're doing 31 damage. Like it's it's cute. So play a skill, and then draw. We get Melange. We don't like any of the cards. It's just that simple. So you're super dead. This is very wild. No, 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 no. <laughs> I don't really think I like any of these, honestly. I don't think we need Battle Him. What I want to see is a real energy relic, and... Ooh. During boss and elite combats, gain energy at the start of your turn. That's interesting, but I'd really rather just have energy by default with a downside. We are fighting Donu Deka, so I think our run could totally work for us. I don't see any reason to assume that we're, we're screwed. 15 damage. We're gonna get hit. We could use maybe some more defense. So this is one fight where I'll tell you, I don't necessarily think that, uh... Why not play it? I don't necessarily think um, we need to play our alphas, but why not get them out there? You know, if we got a chance. So, I think we'll draw. I'm just telling you we're probably going to waste some cards here, so I'm going to get the miracles out so we at least get something. So let's go there, then switch with flow state. But are we really going to hit you that hard? I, this isn't how we win. Don't even bother getting into Wrath. It's it's not necessary. Flow state is just, it's it's taking up space in your hand, to be honest. Drop me a free safety for next turn. I don't want to be this rude towards uh, a card that I actually, I picked because I thought it was cool. I'm just saying, we're, we're totally like completely set unless we mess with the formula so let's not mess with the formula even if we don't need omega you know which we definitely would rather just have some blocks here so we'll hit you for 20 doesn't get any easier than that we don't need to play omega so we're not going to play omega play safety gain 11 more block draw a card flash of steel is great stuff Scry some cards. We hate them all. Everything's okay. All we want to do, the way we beat Donu Deka is... Well, first get there. That's a big part of it. Uh, first get there. Secondly, get Omega out as soon as possible. So play those upgraded safeties. Even if they're at cost. That hurts. I mean, literally, but also, like, it's 11, 14, 6. Wow. Ascension 20, I think, maybe changes that up. But, all right. So, we love playing the alpha early on, for sure, which gives us beta. And then we can scry and maybe get to beta. Even if we don't get to beta, we want to draw Deceive Reality because the safeties are just great. Um... And we'll just play one of them on turn one. I think that's okay. Again, against all these guys, we might not need to get beta, because we need to kill these guys pretty quickly. This is actually kind of like a textbook explosive potion situation, I think. Um, it 
It's kind of an unfortunate turn. We're, we're kind of destined to take damage. Could have used more draw there. Oh, dude, Tori. Thank God for Tori. I, I had not even paid attention to it at all. <laughs> um, well, I mean, you know beta is like the, it's the obvious choice, right? But I think first do this. Can we exit stance? Yes. Can we draw? Yes. So play Vigilance for sure. Um, and I think you should play like something and then exit stance. Crush joints is 12 damage. Might as well get the kill. You're going to do 30 when you die, I think. Should have done that differently. So I think we'll take four. It's not the end of the world. Especially considering we can't do anything else at campfires anyway. Where we suffer the most here, like for certain, there's no negotiation. Where we suffer the most is fights that should be over quickly. The real, hmm. Honestly, I think we definitely want the madness so that maybe we could luck out and hit an expensive card. Just give me the cheap gold. We're gonna heal when we hit the shop anyway, but um, I, I'd, I'd rather not have to remove a curse if we can make our deck thinner. Basically, we want the madness to hit the right stuff. And again, Alpha is a little too slow here. This might be a situation where we actually want to be in Eruption, but I think I'm going to say no, and I'm going to hope that the draw hooks us up. Might as well put it out there. Um, it is a bad first turn, for sure. Couldn't even get into Tori range. Um, so, Miracle, Sanctity. We get free draw. Madness, hit strike. Pretty bad. Um, we do have a flow state. And in this case, it could be a very interesting way for us to go. Like, Vigilance, flow state. Smack, smack. Miracle, go vulnerable. You can't convince me that, that beta is the right way to play here. You can't. It can't be done. You can convince me. That Sands of Time is pretty good here. So I think we should enter Calm and draw twice, then exit Calm and get our energy back. So you're doing 50 damage. I guess we should have hit you with Sands of Time first. I mean, there's no guess. Like, that, that's just what we should have done. Keep that safety around. We'd like to make you vulnerable again, if possible. We could Eruption, Flow State. I think this could work. So go Eruption, Flash of Steel, Safety, Crush Joints for Vulnerability. It hits you for 18. But Flow State will mean you're doing 21 damage. Okay, so we only take 6 on this. It's, a, it's spicier than I thought it would be. Let me just put it that way. And you're doing 70 damage, huh? <laughs> so we need to draw. Enter calm, draw two cards. Like, okay. Can we, we can exit, can we, we can't exit our stance. If we can't exit our stance, we can't go into judgment. It's just, or we can't go into wrath. It's just not possible. I wish it were. I wish it were.
This won't keep us alive, though. I, I think we're dead. I think we died. That hurts, because I, I really like where we were going with this one. Oh, that's painful to end on our loss for the first time. Top two cards of your drop pile. Add one to your hand, exhaust the other. It seems very interesting. Choose a card in your drop pile. Play it twice and exhaust it. Exhaust. At the end of your turn, scry three. Okay, well, life goes on. We'll try again. Um, I apologize. We're still learning. Lots of cards and new relics and et cetera, et cetera, to wrap our head around. We'll be back. For now, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. Subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. I will see you next time. See ya!